In this study, we swabbed different locations within used vehicles to give us a really clear indication of how dirty different environments are within used vehicles. One of the really interesting outcomes that we found in this study was finding some fecal coliform bacteria, quite a high level of gut bacteria on the driver's seat and also in the boot of the car. And you may think, well, on the driver's seat in the boot, that doesn't necessarily represent a risk, but often we eat when we're you know, stuck in traffic, for example, if we're on a long journey, and say you drop some crisps into your lap and you pick them up and you eat them, and they've come into contact with the driver's seat, that potentially could, um, could introduce a root of feco oral transmission of bacteria. Our fruit and veg often is rolling around in the boot of our car, which we then take into our house and we eat. And so it's worth bearing in mind that that particular environment is quite dirty. And certainly when I buy a new car after this study, I will make sure I get the upholstery shampooed before I use that car. Cars generally aren't heated the same way in which our houses are, so they tend to be a more humid environment. And that is a perfect environment for bacteria to actually to, to survive and to thrive. I think we could certainly consider improving the way in which we keep cars clean on a day-to-day -day basis and certainly think about the importance of maybe washing our hands after we've driven home before we go and eat something or we put our hands in our mouth or whatever. I think it's, it's important just to understand where the bacteria are within our car, where the dirtiest environments are, and then think about how we can stop ourselves from ingesting those bacteria because at the end of the day, prevention is better than cure.